Maybe Canada is the place to go, where it's allowed to promote gambling. And then we move over to kick.com. We become slot streamers. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. Till uh, our eyes is spinning as well. Oh my fucking god. So, there is some stuff we need to look at today that is a bit interesting for me at least. I think we should go through and have a look at this uh, news. Aiden Ross announces move to kick.com. I'll still stream on Twitch if that's what you guys want. But what I will say is this. I'm going to kick this week. Um, I'm going to be doing Omegle, watching live sports, watching movies, prank phone calls, doing unlimited. We can literally watch porn together. I can jerk off with you. No, no, I'm still celibate. But if I wanted to, we can do whatever the fuck we want. There is no terms of service over there. You guys can say whatever you want in my chat. Nobody can get fucking banned. If you, listen, if you love people and I don't, no, no, fuck that. If you, if you believe some shit and you want to type that shit, say whatever the fuck you want. I'll still stream on Twitch if that's. I have to say that the, the that won't last. The, that. Uh, what he just said now won't last. The live sport things, at least, like what they type in chat. That's one thing. That's one thing. They can they can have no terms of service. Let everyone type whatever they want in chat. Let's create a toxic community, okay? Yeah, they, they can do that if they want to, right? There is no... Uh, it's a private platform. That's fine. But the streaming live sports, that will get some... Uh, some... Uh, they will get copyrighted, yes, but if you read the problem will then... I think the issue will then come down to the streamers, right? It depends a little bit, because if you remember Torrent back in the days, they couldn't remove Torrents because it wasn't saved any copyrighted material on the Torrent pages servers. No, it wasn't saved anything, uh, it, w it went in between the users. But on kick.com, if they have saved VODs, if they have, it is this, it goes through their server and then spread out, then they have a legal issue. Kick has been live for a while, yes. Well, I don't know how their website works, but this is uh, almost like Twitch. If it isn't just Twitch leaked uh, DMCA policy, let's read. We are taking the property rights of the other city. Same kick act in a, to the Digital Millennium Copyright Act of 1998. If you own a copyright or have uh, to act on behalf of a copyright owner and want to uh, report a claim that a third party is in into the material, please send a notice. Requirement of the DMCA. So they have some DMCA uh, claiming. Uh, we will suspend or terminate accounts if the user is determined to be a repeated infringer. Well, here it says different. In fridge. Her. In fridge. Okay, I don't know. Yeah, but at least it says they will do the same. I, I just read what he uh, wrote. Like offender. Yeah, I know what it means. But it, the. It clearly is some TOS, no TOS, uh, if it isn't enforced, no, that is true. Terms of service. Well, there is some terms of service there. Service shall be deemed solely based in England and Wales. So th there is terms of service they have to follow here, there's no doubt about that. Community guidelines, oh, this is more... Uh, Kick prohibits activities and material, including live streams, videos, and comments, like are harmful, deceptive, offensive, or illegal. Encourage or promote harmful, deceptive, offensive, or illegal conduct. Violate uh, uh, any of Kick's terms of service, privacy policy, copyright policy, or other policies. Contain nudity, pornographic, or sexual activity. This is basically the same. It's basically the same as Twitch, just written in shorter words. Good day, Infinite. How are you doing? So you're about to make an account on Kick, Knut. And now we're just reading a little bit. Since uh, maybe the biggest streamer on Twitch has uh, 
now moved over. Aiden Ross, at least one of the streamers that is has the highest view count of everyone. <laughs> That's me, I'm the smallest, I'm going downhill. Okay, let's see what he has to say. Yeah, I, 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 I think he's chill. I think, I think he's chill, okay? One hour, you know what I didn't? He's chill. Okay, problem I have with I didn't. No, he's not even a problem. Here's some criticism, okay? I think he's trying really hard to emulate um, the things that are happening to Tate, the things that Tate is doing, right? And I think it's a pretty, um, I think it's a really like unhealthy rabbit hole to go down. I just think it's, it's just not, I don't think he truly wants it, but I don't think, I don't think he gets it. And um, this is my opinion. I don't think he understands how these things gonna work at work and why they're happening, right? But he's still emulating them. That's just, yeah. that's just it. Um, yeah, I, 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 I think he's chill. I, think I don't know what uh, XQC just said. XQC says Aiden trying too hard to emulate Andrew Tate and it's unhealthy rabbit hole to go down on. Eh, well, there's no doubt that there might be an unhealthy rabbit hole. That will be uh, most, cri most critical. Let's see what he has to say about. Just read the terms of service on Kick seems in 2.1 rights to your content. Anything you stream is yours and not kicks in any way, and by streaming, you are expressing that you have rights to stream it. <laughs> uh, their terms are going to be a huge thorn in their side should the NFL actually pursue it, and I feel like they're going to at least be aware of it considering there was 150,000 live viewers on True. kick watching it. Making money off it, which is what's going to be a huge issue for the NFL. That's monetization. And they couldn't tap into. It's 150,000 viewers they lose. Yeah, that's the issue. Aiden Ross announces he's going to start streaming on Kick and lays out his content plans. I'm not permanently full time going there. I want to feel it out and I want to make sure my community fucks with it too. So I'll still stream on Twitch if that's what you guys want. But what I will say is this I'm going to Kick this week. Um, I'm going to be doing Omegle, watching live sports, watching movies, prank phone calls, doing unlimited, we can literally watch porn together, I can jerk off with you, no, no, I'm still celibate, but if I wanted to, we can do whatever the fuck we want, there's no terms of service over there, you guys can say whatever you want in my chat, nobody can get fucking banned, if you, listen, yeah, I have a feeling that won't last, they need to do some steps. There are some laws. You need to take advantage of the additional sunlight uh, and go outside, more outside. That will bring the viewers in. You are uh, the only true are on stream after. True, Noanjo, you are correct. We wish we we're going out, but there's no the issue is there's nothing outside. There's not a human outside. There's there's a white layer. That's all you can see. Did you see how much Aiden Ross contract on Kick was? No. Uh, permit. Do you have a link? Now you can post it for one minute. If you can't do it within one minute, tell me and I will give you a new permit. Aiden updates. Breaking news. Ex Twitch streamer Aiden Ross signs a reported two year, 150 million deal to stream exclusively on Kick. Two year, 150 million dollars. That's one point. 1.5 billion Norwegian. Question is, would I go there for 1.5 billion <laughs> divided by 100? <laughs> 50 million Norwegian the next two years? Would we go to kick <laughs> if we divide this? 3 million dollars for two years. I would have taken it uh, on the day. Knut gives everyone a free sub, yeah, that's the first thing I would do. I'll go for 25k a year. I think for a guy like Aiden, it makes sense. Because he has such an extreme community. Let's look at his Twitch channel. Let's have a look at his Twitch channel. Aiden, uh, Aiden. 
7.2 million followers on Twitch. Let's look at his stats. Three now. Twitch metrics. We can look at that one. Uh, then, then Ross. Oh, oh yeah, it hasn't streamed much. Peak viewers seventy eight thousand. That was yesterday. Just he streamed just a short, short stream, almost nothing. And it just bumps up to eighty thousand viewers, and he got more on kick like. Yeah. Stake size kick, uh, even sponsored Alfa Romeo F1. Hello, that's uh, how you waste money for a freaking mediocre team. The thing is, it's probably cheaper to sponsor Alfa Romeo than it is to sponsor like the big, big teams, Mercedes, Ferrari, all of those. But you still get your logo on every race. That's the thing. You will promote your not as good promotion as sponsoring the best, but it's probably up there. That that's my what I think at least. It's not even a logo in the race. The team is uh, named Alfa Romeo Steak. Ah, yeah, they sponsor soccer teams in England. True. Uh, Super Bowl yesterday. Let's see how long that lasts. Yeah, there, there's a lot of uh, th interesting things to see here. This is going, it's going to be really interesting to see if this will work out or not. I personally, I'm a little bit afraid of going, uh, if I got a deal, it must be so much money that I can live with it the rest of my life. That's, uh, if I can get a deal, I was hooked up from the start, his parents have a connection, so of course it's gonna work out for him. Yeah, no, he ha already has money. Like there's no no issues for him, right? Whoa.